All right, it's Wednesday, my friends, and we are in the middle of our week and ready for our workout. Um, today we are going to be warming up. Um, we're going to head out. Uh, we can go uh, in the neighborhood with a parent if we're on the younger side, um, or we can go out for a jog if we're in the upper school there and feel comfortable in our neighborhood. I need five minutes of movement, so you can head out on a two and a half minute jog or power walk or something like that, and then turn around at the two and a half minute mark and come on back in um, for uh, the rest of the warm up. When you get back from that five minutes of a uh, little bit of cardio, then you're going to give me um, ten air squats down and come up, opening those hips up at the top. Uh, after those 10, then we're going to go into 10 shoulder presses. So we'll be using a bag, uh, two bags actually today. So just to get those shoulders a little warmed up, I'm going to go here and press. Head through the window, down and press. Again, I've got some stuff inside my bag to add a little bit of weight to it. So I've got 10 presses. The next movement um, I'm going to do is a glute bridge. So I'm going to lay down done this in our warm-up already this week so I'm laying down here hands on the floor gonna raise my glutes up and come on down raise them up and come on down let's do 10 of those today all right and then the last movement I'm gonna do today staying down on my back I'm gonna reach my feet up in the air and I am going to reach towards my toes 10 of them I'm trying to get my core engaged. You can see that I can't reach my toes. Hamstrings are a little too tight and don't have enough core to get up there, but make your best effort to get up there. Just one time through. Now you'll be good and warm, ready for our workout. Hit that warm up up for me. Okay, today's workout is five rounds. If you are in good physical condition and used to exercising, I'm gonna ask for three rounds if you're just working your way back into getting in shape, um, just to make it a tolerable workout for you. Um, the first movement we're gonna do, we're gonna need two bags. <laughs> I've got two bags, they have about equal weight in them with cans, and um, they are nice and uh, even. I'm going to head out on, it can be, I have written for a 200 meter walk, wherever that is. So for me, I could walk laps around my backyard, uh, maybe looking at about being out for about a minute and a half to two minutes, holding my two weighted bags in my hands here. Um, I want you to think about pulling your shoulders back nice and tight, having a nice tight core uh, and strong, strong shoulders as you're carrying don't let them pull you down. Strong upper body, nice good uh, tall torso. When I get back, I'm going to do 20 sit-ups. So I'm gonna lay down on my puzzle pieces here. Feet go together. Um, that's what I, uh, the way I like to do them. I'm gonna lay down, touch overhead, come up and touch in front of my feet, over and back. We can scale that down to 10 or 15 if you're just a beginner athlete. Um, and starting your fitness journey. We can also uh, extend our legs out. Uh, that will make it less taxing on our hip flexors. Um, still going to lay all the way down and come all the way up. Try to get a nice reach towards your toes. And if you need to lodge your feet under something, that would be the um, most assistance we could get. Our feet get lodged under, so they hold us down, and then we use our legs to help us sit up there. So that's also an option. 20 um, sit-ups or 10, depending on where your fitness level is. Then I'm back up, I pick my bags up, and off I go on my farmer's carry again. Going around a minute and a half, 200 meters, whatever you want to uh, track it as. Just getting yourself moving, holding something with some decent weight in it. We've got five rounds or three rounds. See what you can do. Let's go after it. Let's go get it. Alright, if you did today's workout, nice job. 
Um, doesn't always have to be about heavy breathing. We can tax our bodies in different ways. If you notice, I always, always keep things changing up. Um, the more we change things up, the better our body stays in a state of adaptation, which is when we make our progress. If we do the same stuff, we're going to stop getting results. We always want to keep our body in a state of confusion. So let's take it to a cool down. We're going to start with our famous cat-cow, so hands on the uh, mat right underneath my shoulders. I'm going to arch my back up for a stretch and then come on back down for a stretch, sagging into cow. Get a couple of those in, up, then back down. After that, I'm going to do my child's pose, lean back, head through the window, Good. After that, I'm going to take it to the floor. We've done these before. I'm going to put my legs in the shape of a Z here. I'm going to come across my front leg, hold a stretch. I should feel that in the glute of my front leg here that I'm leaning over. A nice stretch. And come up, holding each position anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how much time you have. Down in front. And come in and come up. And then let's finish off with a nice butterfly stretch. Sitting tall if we can, use our elbows to drive down on our legs. Get a little stretch um, in the inner thigh here. Should feel good. Pat yourself on the back. Awesome job today. How to get the work done.